Let's carry on with our dialing. Let's look at putting in a seven digit pattern. I'm going to put in my access code for an external number and seven X's. Let's see if that's going to cause us any problems. If I dial 9, 9 one, one, I'm going to match the beginning of this pattern. So what's the call manager going to do? The 3302 timer is going to take over and we're going to wait. If you're having a heart attack, you don't want to wait five seconds for your call to ring through to emergency. So let's think about it. Do we have any numbers in the North American numbering plan that start with a zero or a one? Do you ever dial a friend at zero five five one two three four or one five five one two three four? No, you don't. So we can change the first X and put in our wild card. There's no zero, there's no one, so now I have two to nine X X X X X X. That solves our 911 problem. Was that going to solve our 9911 problem or our 9411 problem? Do we still have a delay there? Yes, we do. So there are a couple ways that we can fix that. When you're building out your patterns, it's possible to say that a pattern is urgent. So when you go into the call manager, there's a little checkbox that we can mark off for 911 and 9911 that says this call is urgent. What that means is when either one of those patterns is matched in the call manager, as soon as we hit the final one, that call will be routed right away. There'll be no delay. Now, you don't want to mark too many patterns as urgent because that can make troubleshooting complicated. So we recommend that only the 911 numbers be marked as urgent. That solves our problem for 911. No more delay. Now, what if I want to call service and I dial 9411? I'm still going to have a delay. So let's have a look at seven digit dialing so that we can understand the North American numbering plan in a little more detail. So we still have a problem of getting a delay when we dial a service number, but we need to fix that. This is not going to work to fix that. We're going to replace this pattern with these two patterns which are going to fix our problem. So we've already said that no office code starts with a zero or a one, so we still have our two to nine wildcard. We don't want to have one one after that, and we don't need to, because you don't ever dial a friend at three one 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 two three four or four one 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 two three four. So we're going to put a wildcard in that says not one. We have not zero or one, not one. This can be a one. So I can dial three, five, one, one, two, three, four. That works. Here we've replaced the third number. This is not one. We would have three, one, five, one, two, three, four. And those are both, both valid numbers in the North American numbering plan. So this way we've solved our problem of having a delay when we dial four, one, one, 511 and so on. Carrying on, we're building out our dial plan from the shortest numbers to the largest numbers. Let's have a look at 10 digit dialing. If I didn't have seven digit dialing, I could just add three X's to the end of either one of these patterns. No area code starts with a zero or a one and it's not followed by one one. But we want to look at the most comprehensive case and imagine that we have seven digit dialing and 10 digit dialing in the same area. Now we are lucky in the North American numbering plan, no area code and office code will be the same. You never dial someone at 416, 416, 1, 2, 3, 4. So what that means is I can just put in a nine as my access code and the area code followed by the number. If you have a second area code, you can also put that one in. Some areas may have even more than that. So let's configure our long distance pattern into the call manager. We put in our access code of nine. North American numbering plan says one means a North American long distance call. I could simply put in an X here, but then X means any digit. That's 911. We match this pattern here. 
Now, we've already marked this pattern as urgent, but it's good practice, since we know that no area code starts with a zero or a one, to put in our wild card two to nine and two x's, we have our area code. No office code starts with zero or one. So we put two to nine, two x's, our final four x's, and we've got our long distance pattern. Now we can look at international dialing. There are a number of ways of making an international call. This is a direct dialed call. So once again, we put in an access code of nine into the call manager. 011 denotes an international call. How many digits are there in an international phone number? Well, we actually don't know. It could be a number of digits. So we're going to use another wild card. We're going to use the exclamation mark. And what that means is one or more digits, we just aren't sure how many. So I dial 011-234-567 and what happens? The call manager reverts to the T302 timer and I have to wait for five seconds before my call goes through. So I'm going to put in another pattern, 9011 exclamation mark pound. And pound means I'm done dialing. So the call manager says, you're done dialing, route that call out, and I won't have to wait. We need to put both of these patterns into the call manager. So this is the way that you're going to set up your route patterns if you're living in North America. All you have to do is put in the area code for your location and you're good to go. I'm going to finish this section with the business of the nine. If I go to my phone here and I dial 9411, I match a pattern in the call manager and my call gets routed out to the PSTN. Does the PSTN get the digits 9411? When you dial information from home, do you dial 9411? No, you don't. So what we need to do is we need to get rid of that access code before the call can be routed to the PSTN. We're going to do a little something called digit manipulation in the dial plan hierarchy. When we dial 9, we get what's called a second dial tone. But where is the second dial tone coming from? Is it coming from the call manager or is it coming from the PSTN? The second dial tone is coming from the call manager. We need to configure the call manager in order to play the second dial tone. When we configured these patterns, we found a box that we marked for urgent. There's another box we can mark called provide outside dial tone. For every pattern that starts with a 9, we have to have that box checked. That way, when we dial the 9, the call manager will provide us with the second dial tone. For digit manipulation, which we're going to do in the dial plan hierarchy, we're going to say discard pre-dot. All of the patterns we have configured into the call manager have a dot, except for 911. No dot in 911. Every other pattern that has a dot configured into it, the call manager is going to say discard the 9. Everything written after the dot, the call manager is going to route out to the PSTN and you're good to go.